Good evening and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. Tonight, we're at the Red Bay Tiger Gym. Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. I want to welcome into our broadcast. We have got, of course, today, JV girls action, followed by ninth grade boys action. Of course, we'll have it live here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Hey, do me a favor, if you're out there joining us on our broadcast, uh, let everybody know that we're gonna try to do this game on Facebook Live tonight. And uh, of course, we're all at the mercy as always uh, on our internet speed. And, and if you're out there joining us on our broadcast, once again, an uh, honor to have you on our broadcast here. We got the starting lineups coming up in just a minute. I assume they're gonna announce the starting lineups. I don't see Dr. Ray up there, but I think uh, we're gonna have one of the young ladies that's gonna do it this evening. But stay tuned, the starting lineup's coming up. Once again, it's uh, JV Girls, it's the Red Bay Tigers and the Russellville Golden Tigers. Coach Holly Kirkendall and the uh, Red Bay squad, we're not gonna have the announcer of the lineup, so we'll go straight out on the court and get ready for exciting action here tonight on WRMG. Do me a favor, folks, if you're out there uh, and already on Facebook uh, watching it, uh, we'll hopefully have more and more Make sure you remind your friends as they get on the air here in a minute to make sure they share it uh, so more and more folks will be able to watch the game live on our Facebook Live tonight. We already got several folks on. Once again, the Red Bay and Russellville, ninth grade boys, JV girls. This is the JV girls. Red Bay will be in the white uniforms tonight. Russellville will be in the dark colored uniforms. And Russellville We'll beat back on defense, Red Bay Tigers. Work that ball right side, they'll take it down to the baseline. Shot up, no good. Red Bay with a rebound, put back, no good by Eaton. This time the rebound goes to Russell, but the Red Bay Tigers uh, get a little steal there as Green got it, and the Red Bay Tigers will set it up with Emma McAllister out at the top of the key. She's got 12 Kennedy over on the right side. She's got 15 Kirsten Scott over here. Down low to the baseline, up and no good by Sarah Eaton, and the rebound. Goes to the Golden Tigers of Russell. Leah rushing will bring it down. She got 44, Maddie Green up at the high post. Now right side, 14. She'll put up a shot. That's no good. 14 there is Sophie Moore. And the basket up and makes it two to nothing. I believe number 14 got that basket more. I'm trying to get all my uh, starting lineups marked right here. Working it right side, Kennedy. She's open for the three. It's up. It is good. Drew a lot of iron, but went in good. And it's a three-pointer for Anna Kennedy and the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate you being with us here tonight. Three to two, the score. The Red Bay Tigers are on top. Right side, number 14 is Sophie Moore. Back, Moore gets it again. She's got number 24 over here in the corner. That's Poss. Now to the left side to number 20, Rushing. Rushing shoots the shot up, it's no good. Sarah Eaton with a rebound for the Red Bay Tigers. And McAllister will bring it down. Honored to have you on the broadcast show today. I'm Jack Ivey live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Red Bay taking that ball down to Green. She bobbled it for a minute, able to get it back. Now she's gonna be held and fouled there by number 42, Michaela O'Neill, Maddie Green. You got uh, Jaina Poss, you got uh, Leah Rushing and Sophie Moore out there. For the ball club for Russell, Sarah Eaton, uh, Anna Kennedy, Kirsten Scott, you got Emma McAllister and Hannah Grace Green in the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers. 15, Kirsten Scott out top of the key, joined by McAllister who will take the pass. 4-3, right side, Kennedy's open for another three. It's up, it's no good. Good job by McAllister to get that rebound. She tried to go back up with it and she is gonna be fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot for the Red Bay Tigers. She'll shoot two. Live coverage here on WRMG. Appreciate all you uh, folks that are watching. We thank you, the folks that have already shared this link, and if we'll get the rest of you that's uh, on there to share it, we surely would appreciate it. Once again, this is Red Bay Tiger basketball, JV girls action. Number 20, McAllister, uh, free throw is up and good. 4.02 to go, the next free throw is up. It is good as well. So the Red Bay Tigers have got five points on the board and leads by a score of five to two. Five to two, the score, Red Bay on top. A lot of folks getting online. You may know some folks out there over in the Russellville area that might wanna see the game. So if you share it and you got friends over that area, we'll pick up a few more folks over in that vicinity. Shot on the corner, Russellville, it's up, it's no good. Russellville with a rebound inside, up and no good. Another Russellville rebound, shot up, no good. This time the Tigers, Eaton had it and she, 
Had it kind of knocked away, and Green picked it up. Good try inside there, but she never could get it to fall in there. Had two or three opportunities was Michaela O'Neill. Three-point shot left side. Red Bay Tigers, another three. This time it's Kirsten Scott. Red Bay on top of the Golden Tigers from Russellville by a score of 8-2. to two. This is junior varsity action here on WRMG. Coach Holly Kirkendall, Coach Sean Humphreys coaching over there. And the Red Bay Tigers have got another steal. Picking it up is Scott on the pass. That was a little bit wide for a teammate, maybe too high, and Russell will turn it over now. Three-pointer, top of the key, it's up and good. Emma McAllister gets her fifth point of the ball game, and the Red Bay Tigers have made three three-pointers and need a, right now lead 11-2. to two. Today's game brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse along with Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, by Bunny Gray at Davis Realty, along with Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education, and also the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Raynard Fabianchi. Red Bay 11-2, 2.26 to go. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsay live in Red Bay here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And the Tigers get another steal from Red Bay, and now there's going to be a jump, and Russellville is going to get it back. Good hustle there by both teams. Once again, hopefully uh, the broadcast looks good where you're at. Let me know how it looks and uh, leave us a little comment if you're watching the game. Uh, of course, you know, I've asked you to share this link with your friends. You may know how to get it on all of these other little Twitters and Instagrams and Snapchats. I don't know where you can do all that. If you can, uh, share that with those folks that on that social media, on the inbounds. Good inbounds play. Number 42 got the easy basket on the inbounds for Russell. That's O'Neill. That'll make it 11 to four. Here come the Red Bay Tigers. And Kennedy takes the pass, lets it go through her hand, and out of bounds. So the Tigers of Red Bay will turn it over. 11 to four, 203 to go. Jack Ivey live thanks to the Cardinal drive-in. Out on the Golden Road in Red Bay. Also Community Spirit Bank, Red Bay, and over in Russellville, Vina down in Belmont, Mississippi. They really appreciate your business. And the Red Bay Tigers have got them another steal. That's Eaton got it, but she's going to be fouled. That foul comes with a minute and 56 seconds to go. So Red Bay will take it in. And work it left side. The long shot is up is no good. Rebound goes to the Russellville Golden Tigers. Live coverage here on WRMG. Thank you for being with us here today. We got a minute and 17 seconds to go. Here, Coach Kirkendall over yelling out instructions across the way. And on the inbounds, we got a whistle and a foul with 104 to go. Russell will take it in. That foul, by the way, was against Red Bay's number 23. Thank you, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent on a broadcast, along with the Red Bay Hospital on a broadcast. Shot is up no good by the Golden Tigers, and we got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. Red Bay will play it side court over here after the foul with 44 seconds to go. Red Bay back out to McAllister. Now back to the left side. McAllister's got it now. 15 over here, Scott on the left side. She hit her a big three. Now they go to Eaton and Eaton turns and puts up a little nice jump shot. It's up and good. 
Good job of Sarah Eaton. Red Bay is up by a score of 13 to four. Russell has checked in number 52 in the game. That is Sylvia Saga, spelled S-A-L-G-A. And now back to the top of the key, number 10 shot. That's Elsie uh, Strickland. And we got a whistle and we got a foul uh, here uh, against the Red Bay Tigers, I believe. And the shot at the buzzer is no good. And we have played uh, right now uh, one quarter. It's the Red Bay Tigers leading 13 to four. 13 to four is a score. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, if you're joining us on a broadcast, appreciate you for being with us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Russell will have the ball to start the second half, 13 to four the score, playing six minute quarters. Jack Ivy, Randall Lindsay live right here in Red Bay, Alabama. Hope you enjoy watching our television replay and also of course uh, watching our broadcast on YouTube. Always an honor to have you on the broadcast. Red Bay with the ball back. Number 14 into the game for the Red Bay Tigers now is Audrey Ehler. Also into the ball game for the Tigers is number 20. Well, that's Hannah Grace Green. She's been out there. And the Tigers are going to lose it out of bounds. Once again, thank you for joining us here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We got a whistle with 4.57 to go and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. That one is against number 23 for Red Bay. Getting that foul was Hannah Grace Green. Russell works that ball to the left side. Number 20, her long shot is up no good. The rebound coming off long, and it's going to get out of bounds. And the Red Bay Tigers will have it. So Red Bay will bring it down. And the Tigers are going to be fouled. We'll see what happens right here. So 
So Red Bay will play the ball at side court. That foul against number 14. It was Ehler. I don't know where I told you that early. Now baseline jumper by the Red Bay Tigers. Kirsten Scott got it. And that'll make it Red Bay Tigers 16 to four. 16 to four is the score. Russell down to the baseline. Now to the left side, the long shot by number 10, except it's no good. That was missed in there by Strickland. The rebound, we're gonna have a jump. Good hustle by Ehler. And also number 14, Sophie Moore for the Russell Lady Tigers. Tigers pushing it up to score. Scott with the basketball with 3.46 to go. Down to the baseline, number 23 into the game, pulls up a little jump shot. 23 had a great screen, no good. And the putback inside by the Red Bay Tigers is up and good. And now we've got a timeout by the Russellville Golden Tigers. Three minutes and 33 seconds to go. And the Russellville kiddos will bring it down. Russell top of the key, number 20 handling it out there is Leah Rushing. She'll work that ball over to the left side, 10 to Strickland. Back over to the right side, number 14, Sophie Moore and the Tigers. McAllister's got a steal. McAllister working on one little reverse layup on the backside. It's no good. And the Red Bay Tigers are going to be fouled. We apologize, we didn't have any audio for some reason on this deal earlier, and I had to do a bunch of stuff on my end to get it working for you, so we apologize. Red Bay leads 18 to four with 2.48 to go here in the second quarter. And the ball inside, stolen away by Ehler and the Red Bay Tigers. McAllister will bring it down for the Red Bay Tigers. She made a couple of free throws just a minute ago I didn't give her credit for. Red Bay Tigers trying to go into Eaton. She's going to be foul 44. Reaching over the top is Maddie Green. Russell's got number 24, Poffs, into the ball game. Uh, let's see. you got 20 out there. That is rushing. Uh, 14 is more. Uh, checking in right now uh, a couple of new faces. Uh, let's see. 30 and 52 into the ball game. 30 is Gillespie. 52 is Salga into the ball game. Kennedy shoots the three from the side, no good. They put back on the backside by Kirsten. Scott is up, it's no good, but guess what? She is foul, and she'll go to the line to shoot. Thank you, folks, for getting back online with us here on WRMG. We apologize. We didn't have that audio earlier, but uh, didn't know it for a good bit until you folks told me. And the bank shot is up and good. Number four. 15 at the line is Kirsten Scott. Kirsten's had a good game. And this one is up. It is no good. Going to be a violation anyway, and a foul on the rebound goes to Audrey Ehler. That'll be Audrey, I think, second foul of the game. They're only showing her one, but I thought she got one just a minute ago. Red Bay Tiger basketball live in Red Bay tonight, taking on Russellville. This is JV girls. We got ninth grade boys coming up in just a minute. Russell almost lost it. Now the Tigers are going to reach in and commit a foul. 
Appreciate you folks that are sharing this link. Uh, if you've not shared it, right now would be a good time to do it. You're watching, of course, the Red Bay Tigers and the ball club from Russellville, Alabama. And right now, Red Bay leads 19 to four with 2.10 to go. Number 24 at the line. Shot is no good. That foul, by the way, on Red Bay was against number 20, McAllister, her first foul of the game. That free throw, no good. Red Bay with the basketball. McAllister now left side to Scott, down to Eaton. Eaton fakes right, goes back left, puts it up. It's no good. The backside rebound, no good. Uh, put in there by number 15, Scott. Now we're going to have a jump, and the error going to Russell. Once again, we're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. I always remind you if we're trying to do streaming, sometimes we're always at the mercy of internet or whatever, and that is the case here. But we're, we're trying it for you to see how it will work out for you tonight. Maybe you can enjoy it a little bit since you can't be here. 19 to four, I can assure you our television replay is gonna be awesome and also our YouTube is gonna be awesome. And you won't have to worry about no Internet stream to watch that uh, good quality. We'll have that for you. We got another foul against the Red Bay Tigers. That foul coming here with a minute 32 to go. Second quarter. Number 20 is going to go to the line for Russell. That's Leah rushing. Red Bay leads 19 to four. That foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Anna Kennedy, her first foul. Seven fouls against Russell. Eight against the Red Bay Tigers. And the free throw, no good by number 20. That is rushing. Thank you, Red Bay Hospital, for making our game possible here today. And that free throw, no good. Also, Fashway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent, along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Dickey Spark CPA, also on a broadcast. Don't forget Bay Diesel, Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized freight line and RV dealer. As the Tigers of Red Bay has turned it over, Russell's got it back. Also, big shout out to Mike Engel at Engel Farms. You need chicken litter hauled or spread, Mike. Does a wonderful job. Long shot by Russell, number 30. Gillespie, no good. 20 will drive in. That's rushing. Now back to Saga and her three support shot up in the corner is good. Good job by Sylvia there. That'll make it 19 to 7. 19 to 7 is the score. Kirsten Scott works that ball right side. Thank you, Triple D's bucket service over in Iuka. Big sponsor as Russell will knock it out of there. Big shout out to Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer, as Red Bay will bring in number 22 into the ball game, Mackenzie Gasaway will check in. Big shout out to Tiffin Motorhomes on our broadcast. Tigers shot no good. And now the ball almost going out of bounds. It's uh, saved there by Russell. They'll bring it down. Red Bay's also brought in Isabella West into the ball game. Long shot. Another three pointer by. Sylvia Saga, and that makes it 19 to 10. Tigers still got a big lead, but two big threes will cut into it in a hurry. Kennedy on the right side over there. Now McAllister shoots the three. It's up, it's no good. Rebound, Russell comes out of there with it. Number 44, Maddie Green. Russell pushing it up, going for the layup, and it will not go in. We have played. One half of basketball, it's 19 to 10. Red Bay leading over the Russellville Golden Tigers. Do me a favor, if you're listening to broadcast, uh, make sure you tell Red Bay Pharmacy, Bill Donald Weatherford, Old Jackson Witt, how much you appreciate them making the game possible. Also, big shout out today to your Edward Jones agent, Mr. Mike Jones there in Russellville at 128 North Jackson Avenue. Also, big shout out to Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Also, Dr. Rick Wooten over in Russellville, 301 Jackson Avenue. 3310208. And right now we got the Russellville cheerleaders. And the Russellville cheerleaders performing. I think Red Bay will be coming up next. Today's game brought to you by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr, Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, 
662-279-6569. Also McKinney RV, Mr. Theron and all the staff. The Banner Tire Store on the Fairview Banner Road. That's, of course, Mr. Jason Parker. Med Express of Red Bay with Kayla Humphreys. Med Express, of course, is a certified rural health clinic licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Miss Kayla Humphreys is a young lady to see. Also, J.C. Weeks and the staff at Redmond Pharmacy on our broadcast. Also, big shout-out today to Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Kayla Wells, Mike Moore, and Red Bay's own Brenda Purser. Here's the Red Bay Tigers. And the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders performing for us here on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. I'm Jack Ivey live for the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us here today on your hometown station. And we appreciate all you folks that are watching us. Uh, and tell you what, uh, we're so blessed with all these uh, folks that watch us all the time. We don't take that for granted, I can assure you that. Today's game brought to you by Predator Pest Control, the insect predator. you got Clay and Ted Weatherford and also Mr. A.D. Deaton. Also, Albin Mason Construction Company. For all the construction you can be proud of, call a reliable company. Call Albin at 662-660-3355. Don't forget he's got a brand-new track hoe. Does all your excavator work. Call Albin, 662-660-3355. Also on our broadcast today is Explore Liquidation on our broadcast here today. Uh, Jada Pitts, your manager. Also Mike Stockton, of course, your president. They got the lowest prices around. Of course, uh, they got your living room, bedroom, dining room, furniture, tools, and much more. All the merchandise from name brand retailers. And guess what? 50 to 75% off. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We'll have more basketball action. Red Bay leads at halftime, 19 to 10. Well, it's been mainly the Red Bay Tigers in the first half, leading 19 to 10 as we start the third quarter. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And we've got a whistle and a quick timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Coach uh, didn't like what she was seeing here early, so she gets a quick timeout. we got 5.41 to go in the third quarter. Red Bay Tigers uh, had a bigger lead than, than they've got now, but uh, let the uh, Russell Golden Tigers hit a couple of big threes and another two there and cut into that lead. It was like 19-4. to four. Now it's 19-10. to 10. 19 to 10 is your score. So thank you for being out there with us tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Nineteen to ten, the score. And now the Russell Lady Tigers have got them a steal. Number 42, Trip coming down the floor. Hopefully she's going to be okay. Not for sure exactly what happened, but she went face forward in there, but she seems to be okay. We've got a 19 to 10 ball game and a whistle and a foul. Nineteen to eleven, she made the first. And now she makes the second one, and we have got a uh, closer ball game for you. Red Bay bringing it down, gets it across the timeline. Russell almost got a steal there. Eaton able to run it down. Now left side Kennedy, she's open for a shot. It's up and no good. It was a two. -shot. Her foot was on the line. Nineteen to twelve, the score. Five oh five to go. 
Folks, I have no earthly idea what's uh, messing our audio up on the, it's not messed up on our end here as far as uh, our TV broadcast or anything like that. But uh, So I really don't know how to fix it and do the game at the same time, if you know what I mean. 19 to 12, the score. Jack Ivey, Randall, Lindsay live here from WRNG TV 12, TV 97. A foul against uh, Russell. That's number 42 getting the foul. That is her fourth foul of the game. 5.05 to go. Block shot there by Russell. Good, good one. Ball uh, belonged to the Russell Lady Tigers, Golden Tigers, 19 to 12, the score. Four minutes and 53 seconds, and now another foul against Edler for the Red Bay Tigers. Nineteen to twelve, the score. That foul was Ehlers' uh, second foul, and that ball is going to be out of bounds. It's going to go to the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay, nineteen to twelve. So Red Bay will take it in. Nineteen to twelve, the score. Got it down to Kennedy. Kennedy on the right wing. Stops, looks for help. Gets it back out to the top of the key now. That's McCollister. Eaton over on the left side. She brings it back to Kennedy on the right side. Kennedy trying to go down low. The pass to Ehler. Tigers almost turned that ball over. Left side, Eaton's open for the three. It's up good. Boy, that's a nice, good shot right there. Good job, Sarah Eaton, getting the three. Red Bay 22-12. With the ball right side, now down to the baseline. 44 is open, and Ehler just got her third foul. As she went for the block, got the block, but committed the foul as well. So going to the line will be number 44. This is Maddie Green shooting the free throw. It's up and no good. Red Bay with a 10-point lead with 4.06 to go. Today's game brought to you by folks like Kim Lindsay. It's so cute for you. She does all your screen printing and monogramming. 256-668-0142. That free throw way short. Also, cash and thermal plastic. Chuck Barber, thank you so much. The city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council. Also, don't forget the Red Bay Gas and Water Department, who reminds you to call before you dig. That's very important. 356-8622. 22 to 12. What about the city of Red Bay getting a, a grant over $200,000 for a splash pad in Red Bay? Is that not going to be big time? And Sarah Eaton, another nice little jump shot there for the Tigers, getting her seventh point of the ball game. Red Bay up 24 to 12. 24 to 12. Three minutes and 37 seconds to go. Russell will back out top of the key to the rushing. Rushing goes right side, 24, that's Poss. Now back to underneath, number 44 is wide open again, that's Green. And now Russell wants a timeout. We got a timeout. Red Bay Tigers lead 24 to 14. This is a Russell timeout. Here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company, I'm Jack Ivy live with you. Appreciate you being with us here today on your hometown station. Red Bay bringing it down and a shot up. No good. Rebound goes to the Russellville Tigers with 3.08 to go. That shot was missed over there by Kirsten Scott. She's had a couple of threes in the game, unofficially seven points. 
Number 10 handling the ball out front is Strickland. Back over to Rushy. Rushing cross-court pass there to Moore. Red Bay up by 10, and the Red Bay Tigers are going to get a steal. Coming out of there with it, Scott. Good job with Kirsten, and now the Red Bay Tigers want a timeout. Coach Holly Kirkendall said, hey, let's talk it over, guys. 2.44 to go. 2.44 to go. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Red Bay with the ball in, and Red Bay goes for the layup. It goes over to Kennedy, and her shot is no good, but she's foul, and she's going to go to the line to shoot for the Red Bay Tigers. Going to the line is Kennedy, and it's 25 to 14. That foul against number 44, Maddie Green. That will be Maddie Green's uh, fourth foul as well. And the free throw by Kennedy. Both of them was no good. This time the rebound is saved over there by Ehler, but picked up by the Russell Lady Tigers, and we're heading the other way. Russell will stop and set it up. At the 228 mark, number 10 with the basketball for Russell is Strickland. Goes inside to 44, back to rushing. 44, I told you, is green in there. She's up at the high post right now. They got 52 back into the ball game. Uh, Sal go over there. She had two big threes. Honored to have you on our broadcast here today on WRMG. Got some really, really great sponsors. Don't really have any sponsors on our junior high, but uh, we throw in a little plug or two here for our varsity sponsors, including Grace Long Real Estate over in Iuka, CBNS Bank down in Red Bay and over in Russell and other locations, H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka, Fulton by Franklin Electric, also big star of Red Bay, Alabama on our broadcast. Kennedy down in the corner to McAllister. McAllister tries to go into traffic to Ehler. Ehler kicks it back to Eaton, and Eaton puts it up good. More Miss Sarah has got uh, nine points unofficially for the Red Bay Tigers. Russell will bring it down right now. Taking it down in the middle. The shot is up no good. Rebound scram for it. Ehler got it, and she is going to be fouled. Red Bay over to the Back to Eaton. Eaton shoots a long shot. It's up. It's no good. Russell with a rebound. And Russell will set it up now with 34 seconds to go. Rushing down the corner. There she is. She's hit two of them. She didn't hit this one, but her teammate got a rebound. Shot no good. Now we're going to have a jump with an error pointing in favor of the Lady Golden Tigers from Russell. Red Bay winning big right now, 27 to 14. And Miller. Too much let down here in the third quarter of the Tigers. They had that second quarter, had a little let down right there, but right now it's 24. Point one seconds to go. Russell will have it underneath their own basket, win the third quarter. Russell will back out front to Sylvia Saga. Sylvia Bumble Bog there a little bit. Looks for help, gets that ball back out top of the key. Now to the right side, we're down to nine seconds to go. Got to be thinking seriously about getting a shot off here pretty quick. Sylvia with three seconds to go. Russell's not going to get a shot off. Not in time anyway. 27 to 14 is the score. We are live 
in Red Bay, Alabama. It's JV action here tonight between the Red Bay Tigers and the ball club from Russellville, Alabama. Jack Ivey live here. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast, all made possible by great, great sponsors, including Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, your hometown Piggly Wiggly, and also Sunshine Mills on our broadcast here tonight on WRMG. So after the uh, timeout here at the end of the quarter, we're going to, of course, be going to the fourth quarter. Red Bay leading it 27 to 14, 27 to 14. Five minutes and 54 seconds to go, and Russell gets a steal. I believe that's rushing. Rushing drives in, puts it up as good. Leah Rushing getting the basket. That makes it 27 to 16. You folks listening to the live audio and TV on Facebook, um, I have no answer why it's doing that, so, and I ain't got time to try to fix it and broadcast the game at the same place. Russell gets a timeout, 5.31 to go. 5.31 to go in the ball game. Red Bay leads it 27 to 16, 27 to 16. Red Bay is gonna send number 23 back into the game for the Tigers, that is Hannah Grace Green. We'll let you know who she's going in for here in just a minute. So Russellville will get the ball to start the fourth quarter. Red Bay leading at 27 to 16. Actually, we got that quick time out there, but uh, we're still almost just the starting of the fourth quarter, 27 to 16. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go. Russellville taking it on the inbounds. Ehler knocks it out of bounds. Red Bay's got Ehler into the ball game, along with McAllister. Got Scott, Eaton, and the long shot is up. A three-pointer up and good by the Red Bay Tigers, Sarah Eaton. She's uh, had a great night, 3, 5, 7, 9, 12 unofficially. And Red Bay leads 33 to 16. Long shot up by Russell, it's up and it's no good. Rebound coming off long. She saved it in, one of her teammates rushing, able to get a hold of it. And Russell will still have possession. Today's game brought to you by some really, really great sponsors, including Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford on the broadcast. Russell will shot us up, it's no good. And the rebound put back is good. I believe Maddie Green got that one. It'll make it 30 to 18, 30 to 18 our score. And another basket for the Red Bay Tigers. Who got that, Randall? And the shot is up, it's no good. We're gonna look like, we're gonna have a foul, I believe. I thought it was gonna be a jump there at first. That was Eaton getting another one. Yeah, 
42 is going to be charged with a foul. That'll be her fifth foul, Russellville folks. Thirty-three to eighteen, the score. So forty-two, O'Neill has fouled out of the game. Red Bay long three shot. It's up good. This one is knocked down by Kirsten Scott, number fifteen. Got that one. That makes it Red Bay thirty-six to eighteen. Three minutes and forty seconds to go. Down low, the shot up. We're going to have a whistle and a foul on the Tigers from behind. I told you earlier who was going to be checking out. It was Kennedy. And free throw is up and no good by Russell. Red Bay with an 18-point lead. 18 points, 335 to go. That foul against Ehler for Red Bay will be her fourth foul of the game. I believe Kennedy must be sick down there. See Coach Donnie Roberts checking on her down there. And that free throw was good by Russell. 36 to 19 now. Full court pressure by Russell. Scott bringing it down with no problem for the Red Bay Tigers. Gives it off to Eaton. Eaton a shot blocked. Rebound underneath there goes to Maddie Green and the Russell Golden Tigers will bring it down. Russell right side to Strickland. We're at three minutes and 16 seconds to go in the game. Red Bay leads 36 to 19. A little baseline jumper up and no good. It's out of bounds. And that will belong to Russell. <laughs> On the inbounds pass, shot up. No good block on the backside as they tried to go up again. Now we're going to have a jump, and the arrow is going to be going to the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tiger basketball. And I think their audio finally cleared up. I, I don't know why. I don't know what was causing it to do that earlier. I apologize. 36 to 16. Maybe we can concentrate on the game a little better. Red Bay with a basketball. Don't forget uh, ninth grade boys coming up next right here on WRNG. And we have got a timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Hey, today's game, of course, live on WRNG. Do me a favor. Uh, I know earlier you probably didn't want to share it, but uh, right now the game, of course, uh, on your hometown station. If you'll share this uh, link, I surely would appreciate it. Today's game brought to you by Red Bay Reynolds. That's Mr. Johnny Weatherford, 256-668-0039. Red Bay cheerleaders doing a wonderful job across the way. Also, I want to thank Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering by Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Service. Emergency calls, don't forget 256-668-0224. He does all your remodeling, siding, roofing, painting, and much, much more. By the way, he is available for 24-hour emergency calls. Also, BJ Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Sessions on a broadcast. You can call for an appointment at 662-676-4445. Walk-ins are welcome, but appointments are preferred if you can. Also, big shout-out to Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook by Silver Dollar Grocery. Mr. Rick Sparks, your discount grocery headquarters in Golden. Also, consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay. If you tell them you heard this ad on WRMG, you'll get 20% off your purchase. That's a big deal, 20% off your purchase at Consider the Lilies. All you gotta do is tell them you heard it on WRMG. McAllister down to Ehler. She's wide open for the easy basket. It's up and good. Good job of Audrey Ehler getting the basket. And the Red Bay Tigers lead 38 to 19. I think it's supposed to be 40. A long shot by Russell is up and no good. And now we've got a whistle and a timeout. So Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting here, brought to you by some really great sponsors like 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse by Stadium Pros. That's Keith Kennedy and Alton Barksdale. Also on the broadcast today is Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty. Need to buy a home, sell a home? 
256-460-8064. Also, Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry on our broadcast. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Good luck to all the Tigers in Franklin County. We're working hard to make this the best year ever. Also, the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Fabianchi. The Cardinal Drive-In. Community Spirit Bank in Red Bay, Russellville, Vina, and Belmont, Mississippi. By Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. By the Red Bay Hospital. Also, our sponsor today is Fastway Car Wash. Miss Ann Vinson on her broadcast here today. Appreciate you folks checking us out. Like I said, I apologize earlier. We had audio uh, issues on there, but I couldn't troubleshoot it to figure it out while we was doing live. I want to say hello to Mr. Elsie Malone out there. Doug Lyles, thank you. Also, Mr. Bobby Lowry, coach, good to see you. David Thorne, oh, Zach Ziarko out there tonight. Randy Elliott, we got Miss Phyllis Wiltshire Strickland. Johnny Stockton checking in with us. Regina Sparks, Sue Tate, Andy Thorne, Toby Gray, Miss Evelyn Williams. Also, uh, uh, looks like Ashlyn Nicole McDonald, Twyla Graham out there tonight. Don Hall checking in with us, and another three-pointer by McAllister. Got that one. Red Bay 41 to 19, 41 to 19. And I think we missed a basket earlier on the scoreboard over there. Because it was like 38 and then we made a basket and they never did put it up. 41 to 19 though, the score right now. 30 checking in is Kylie Gillespie. She'll check in. And I believe that's um, Maglandina Francisco. Check it out with a minute 48 to go. Red Bay's got uh, Emily Enos in, number 35. Long shot on the left side, up and no good. Also, number 10, Alexis Tabs into the ball game. And we have got a whistle and a foul. Also into the game for the Tigers, number 22, Mackenzie Gazaway. Blake Lee Dexter into the ball game, number 21. We're at a minute and 35 seconds to go. Thank you, Miss Patricia Gillian Roberts out there tonight. Miss Lynette Horton checking in with us. There's Sheila Pfeiffer with us out there as well. Don't forget, we got ninth grade boys coming up next. We're not going to mess with it. We may turn our audio down in between games. So they, we've got uh, Tim LeVette out there with us. So Mr. Jerry South, long shot up, no good. And a putback, no good by Russellville. And they will have, uh, at the free throw line, opportunity here for number 24. This is Sophie Moore going to the line. That foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Number 20 is going to be charged with a foul. Emma McAllister. Now they're saying it's Alexis Tabs, number 10. 41 to 20, the Red Bay Tigers. And now a steal by Russell and a putback. I believe that was uh, rushing it got that. Red Bay, long shot left side up, no good. McAllister just turned her ankle or something. She just went down. And hopefully she's going to be all right. It looked like she was doing it to when she made a pass over there in that corner and uh, tweaked that ankle or something. Coach Roberts and the crew out there checking. Are they going to help her up? And it is her left ankle, I guess. They're going to help her off. So with 58 seconds to go, we got uh, 41 Red Bay, 22 uh, for the ball club from Russellville, Alabama. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Russell with the basketball. Number 30, Gillespie over there now to the left side. Shot is up, it's no good. And the putback, no good. We got another foul against the Tigers with 43 seconds to go. Free throw makes it 41 to 23 Red Bay with 43 seconds to go. Big shout out to Triple D's Bucket Service over in Iuka. By the way, they will come to Russell, you folks over there. They get to all your high reach areas. They got a bucket truck that goes up to seven floors and Red Bay's got an over and back. 
They do all your tree trimming and debris removal, stump grinding. They clean church steeples. Their license are abundant. I highly recommend them. 662-279-7500. Uh, also, big shout out to Mike Engel at Engel Farms on a broadcast, along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. Shot no good. Red Bay's got it. Number 35 bringing it down. Lazinas has them all knocked away. Here comes Russell with 20 seconds to go and rushing with a basketball. Thank you, Tiffin Motorhomes. Three-point shot. Russell is short. No good. Red Bay with a rebound. McKenzie Gasaway got it. Down to Eaton. Eaton not able to ever get to that basketball. Now it's going to be loose on the floor. We're going to have a jump. Going back to Russell with 5.2 seconds to go. So hopefully you can enjoy the boys' game here live on Facebook. Uh, pretty nice crowd here watching it in person. Long shot by Russell is no good. And the Red Bay Tigers win it 40, uh, 41 to 24. Red Bay wins it 41 to 24. We got boys action coming up next right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers winning over Russell and junior varsity girls and the final was 41 Red Bay, 24. Here come the Red Bay Tiger. Ninth grade boys and the Russell ninth grade coming out as well. We're live in Red Bay tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We're the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you, Miss Leah Schubert checking in with us. We got Mitzi Ramsey out there with us. And you'll be able to watch the ninth grade boys, Red Bay and Russellville live on Facebook Live and also uh, on our TV replay on TV 12, TV 97. And also we'll have it on YouTube by the time you get up in the morning as well. So stay tuned. Red Bay and Russellville is coming up next. This is ninth grade basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We got, of course, Randall Lindsay with us here tonight. We're getting ready for the ninth grade boys action coming up. <laughs> Russell and Red Bay. And the tip is controlled by the Russell Golden Tigers. We're just underway, six minute quarters. Red Bay JV girls winning over Russell big tonight. 41 to 24 was that final score. Right now the long shot by Russell is gonna be short, kicked around, the Red Bay Tigers got it. Long throw down the court to Hacker. Hacker goes for the layup, it's up and good. Bryson Hacker got the nice basket for the Red Bay Tigers. Russell kicking that ball out in the corner. And now the Tigers have got a steal. Zero's got this one. This is Elijah Luster getting the easy basket. And the Red Bay Tigers lead by a score of four to nothing with 5.05 to go. And Luster's got another steal for the Tigers. This time he'll hold up, wait on the rest of the team. He'll get it back. He's on the left wing. Carson Corum with the ball out. He wears number one. He also got number 10, Andrew Ray out there for the Tigers, along with 22, Colby Jackson. Tigers, once again, on the offensive side, you got Elijah Luster. Long shot there by Mr. Corum. It's up good, big three-pointer. And Russell wants a quick timeout as Red Bay has jumped out to a seven to nothing lead. Once again, it's Elijah Luster. You got Carson Corm. You got Andrew Ray, Bryson Hacker, and Colby Jackson starting for the Red Bay Tigers today. Once again, it's an honor to have you on the broadcast. Do me a favor, share this link with your friends right now so they can enjoy the game. They might not know the game on there. So, Mr. Colton Corm out there checking in with us. Mr. Keith Seahorn, also Mr. Clint Hawkham, Mike Engel at Engel Farms, Tracy Gordon checking in with us, also Mr. Gary McKinney, Cameron Kirk, thank you for being out there, also David Brown. Uh, Jennifer Oliver out there with us tonight. Dawn Mills checking in. We got, uh, let's see, who else we got? Mr. Tony Kelton out there. Austin Golson. Thank you, Austin. And also Miss uh, Kayla Harden out there with us. 
and Russellville has lost it out of bounds, and nope, it should have been the Red Bay Tiger basketball. But they're going to give it to Russell underneath their own basket. Thank you, Austin Thorne, checking in with us here on WRMG. We're back to action. Seven to nothing, Red Bay Tigers here early. Russell works that ball down in the corner, kicks it back in the middle. He's open for the easy shot. Number 13 got that one. That is uh, Arian McCullough with the basket. Full court pressure by Russell. We'll see how the Tigers deal with this pressure. Kobe Jackson across the timeline. Looks for help. Goes to a teammate, Hacker down in the corner. Hacker, big cross court pass to Luster. Luster goes up with it, it's no good. And he is gonna be fouled. Luster will go the line. Luster with a couple of points in the ball game already. Make it four points in the game. And that shot is up. We got, uh, actually he's got two, he got a free throw and we got uh, Hacker got one, so Bryson Hacker's got two, Luster's got two, Co uh, Carson Corum has got three. Now Luster has got three as he made that free throw there. So it's eight to two Red Bay. Russell will bring it down with number two with the basketball. Right side to 20. That's Pace. Back to Thorpe. Red Bay playing some really good aggressive defense out there. They got him an eight to two lead. Driving to the lane, kick back. Number two able to get control of it finally there. That's Boyd. Now down to 20 near the basket. He puts it up no good. 13 with a big rebound under there was Amick. And now we've got a whistle on a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. That foul is going to go against Andrew Ray for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay leads 8-2. to two. Going to the line to be uh, Gabe Amick to shoot a free throw. If he'll get to he'll shoot two. There's our brother Bob Massey checking in with us. We got also Brent Raper checking in with us. This is a Facebook Live broadcast for Red Bay ninth grade boys against Russellville. Red Bay junior varsity girls already won tonight, 41 to 24. Right now, Red Bay right here leads this game eight to three. And a cross court pass stolen away. Number 10, Andrew Ray's pass swiped away. Number 12. Drives down to the baseline a little bit. That's McCullough. He'll dribble it back out, being guarded there by Ray. Looks inside. He'll go sideways to his teammate Boyd. Dan's off to four. He'll roll a running shot. It's up and good. Good one there by Thorpe. Grayson not only was fouled, he uh, will go to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Today's game brought to you by Red Bay Pharmacy. That's Bill Donna Weatherford and also Mr. Jackson Witt down in Red Bay. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes, Harden Heating and Cooling. That's Allen and Ash and all the great staff there. Oh, Tyler Massey checking in with us. Free throw is up and no good. Red Bay Tigers with the basketball quickly down the floor. Carson Corm. Now to the high post, Luster. Back to Corm. He's open for the long three. It's up and good. His second three of the game. Good ball movement there with the Tigers. Red Bay leads 11-5. Cross court, number four, Thorpe to 12, McCullough. McCullough being pressured hard there by Ray Hacker. Out on number two, Boyd out there. He'll kick in, kicks it back out to number four. He'll drive in, kick it back out. Now to the left side to McCullough. McCullough working one-on-one, -on -one, drives in the lane, shot is short. Rebound goes to the Tigers, Kobe Jackson. And Carson Coram with the basketball to the right side. Down to the baseline, Luster. Luster kicks it back over to Carson. He's already hit three of those, two of those three-pointers. That's Carson Corman. Red Bay being pretty patient this time with a minute 47. Today's game brought to you by your Edward Jones agent over in Russellville, Alabama. Mr. Mike Jones at 128 North Jackson Avenue. Folks, you need expert advice. We highly recommend your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. Highest investor satisfaction now with full service brokerage firms. 332 79 24. Three new faces checking in for Russellville. That foul against Russellville against uh, number 20. That is uh, Canyon Pace going to be charged with a foul. Corm takes the inbounds pass, shoots a three. It's up and no good. Hacker with a rebound. Hacker tries to go up. He's fouled.
Nicholas Spadden has checked into the ball game. You also got uh, Carson Hyde is into the game. And they got another one in uh, that hadn't been in there. I'm trying to find him. Can't see his number right now. Red Bay substituting with a 24 into the ball game for the Tigers is Brian Blair, the second. Also into the game for the Tigers, number 14, Taylor Allison. And also John Lindsay. Eleven to five, Hacker. The free throw is up. It is no good. Rebound. Tigers have got it. Kick it back out. Right side for the Tigers now. Twenty-four. Blair kicking it down to Hacker. Hacker turns, puts it up. No good. Hacker got his own rebound. Goes up, and he is going to be fouled. Hacker's going to go back to the line for the Tigers. Hacker missed a free throw earlier. Let's see if he can uh, make some free throws. They're not going to let him shoot, I don't think. They're going to say it was. Number 24 will inbound for the Tigers. Brian Blair, the second. John Lindsay. Inside, the shot is up, and they're going to get a walk. Uh, against the Red Bay Tigers, Kobe Jackson. One minute and 15 seconds to go. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger, Russellville, ninth grade boys basketball here. I want to say hello to Keith Griffin out there tonight, Mr. Wesley McGill, Brock Keaton out there with us, also Miss Rhonda Combs. She's up in Kentucky tonight. Of course, she could be loafing somewhere else tonight as well. And the big shot by the Russellville Golden Tigers is up and good. Number five shooting that one and knocking the bottom out of it. That'll make it 11 to eight, five. Of course, getting that basket was Carson Hyde. Now the Tiger shot, no good. Rebound Hyde got it for Russell and Russell will push it up. They've cut this lead now to three for the Tigers. McSpadden now down low, the shot up no good by McSpadden. Rebound Red Bay pushing it up. And the shot up by the Tigers, it's up and good by Colby Jackson and he is fouled. Substitution number 20 checking in for Russell. That's Pace checking back into the ball game. Number 13, Emick will check out. Red Bay 13 to eight and Kobe Jackson with the chance to complete a three point play right here. And the free throw is up, it is good. Don't forget these games will be on YouTube. We'll also replay it on our local TV station. Our channel in Red Bay, Alabama is channel 12. Over in North Mississippi, we got channel 97. Number 21 in the ball game, it's up and good. That's whose number we couldn't see earlier, and that's DeAndre Hamilton. Long shot by the Tigers at the end of the first quarter is no good, but Red Bay leads 14 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. 14 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball. All the Ivy Broadcasting Company. I'm Jack Ivy with Randall Lindsay live here this evening. Do me a favor, if you're watching online on Facebook, we appreciate you very, very, very much. And uh, we've got, uh, sometimes we've got more listening than others, but uh, do me a favor, share this link with your friends that might be wanting to watch a game. So if we get pretty good response, we'll do this next time. If not, uh, we probably don't need to go to that much extra trouble because you have to hook up a, a distribution, you got to hook up a caption device, you got to hook up a, a laptop computer, and worry about finding internet on top of that. So. It needs to be worth a bunch to you for us to go to the trouble of trying to do these things on Facebook Live or anything live other than the live audio. The TV replays is no problem. All that equipment is extra equipment that we have to hook up. Red Bay Tigers once again leading 14 to 10. Fourteen to ten our score, and Red Bay will have it to uh, start the second quarter. Of 
Corn with the basketball out top. Goes right side. Now to the left side, number one. Corm's going to shoot it. It's up. It's no good. End of the ball game now for the Red Bay Tigers. Mr. Charlie Huffman. And the shot is up no good. And they're going to get the Tigers with a foul. You got Allison Taylor out there. You got, uh, or Taylor Allison, I should say. 32, you got Mr. Huffman. You got Luster out there. You got Corm. And Andrew Ray, that foul, by the way, was against uh, zero. Elijah Luster picking up his first foul of the game. Red Bay Tiger basketball live here on WRMG. Makes it 14 to 12. Red Bay, Red Bay almost turned that one over. And the Tigers do turn it over, but thanks to Huffman, he got it right back. Red Bay are being effective with this pressure of this particular trip. Corum is going to get into some traffic, and Coach calls a timeout to bail them out. They were uh, trapped over there in front of the scorer's table. So we got a break in the action. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Today's game brought to you by... Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company on our broadcast. And also Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic on our broadcast at 301 Jackson Avenue. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing. Also by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, that's Chris and Valerie Moore. Redmond Heating and Cooling on our broadcast. Don't forget on Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock, watch the services from the Red Bay Free Will Baptist Church. Brother Steve Lindsay in attendance here tonight is the pastor there. Fourteen to twelve. Huffman almost lost that ball. Gets it down to the corner to Luster. Luster back out to Corm. Corm at the top of the key goes back. Luster right side. Hacker up on the high post. Now he goes left side to Ray. Ray, I'm not sure what Ray was looking at there. Whether he's trying to go to uh, Huffman or Luster in the corner, but probably should have went on in there and put that one up. Fourteen to twelve. The score. We're live on. WRMG, TV 12 and TV 97. Red Bay on top. Red Bay in the white uniforms. Russell in the black. Russell working that ball right side, number five, high. Now back top of the key, 20. That's Pace. Pace puts a shot up a little banker, and it's up and good. Hannon said, I call glass, Jack Ivey. 14 to 14, the score on the Tigers. Pace gets a steal. To number two, he goes in, misses the layup because he was fouled big time. That's Boyd, and he'll go to the line to shoot. He'll have a chance to put Russell on top. The after joining us on the broadcast, appreciate you being with us here tonight on WRNG TV 12 and also Television 97. Fifteen to fourteen is that first three was good. Once again, the free throw was good to make it fifteen to fourteen, and the next one is good as well. By Boyd, and he puts Russell up by a score sixteen to fourteen. Huffman takes that ball to the middle, and Hacker almost had that ball swiped away. Now to Ray, and now there's going to be a foul against number twelve. Twenty-two will check into the game. Colby Jackson uh, Huffman will check out for the Red Bay Tigers. Four oh three on the clock. I see the Huffman man, Mr. Paul Huffman, across the road, right down below old Mike Schubert over there. Hacker driving in. Hacker puts it up. It's good, and he's fouled. Good job, Bryson Hacker. His fourth point of the game unofficial, and that should tie the game up for the Red Bay Tigers. That basket will count. 
and he'll have a chance to go to the line. Coach Corm and Coach Tarisky coaching on the sideline with these ninth grade boys. Coach Kevin Marr coaches the junior high boys. And there's the free throw by Hacker. It's up and good. Hackers put the Red Bay Tigers back on top. Three minutes and 46 seconds to go. Now there's going to be an over and back by Russell. And guess who's going to get it back? The Red Bay Tigers are going to get it. So 17 to 16 the score. And... Mr. Ray's pass way wide and out of bounds. He'll check out of the ball game as number 14 will come in. That's uh, Taylor Allison will check in. Three minutes and 27 seconds to go in the second quarter. Red Bay 17 to 16. Russellville came back and took the lead momentarily. Kicking it out, number 21. Hamilton now to the right side. Back to number five. Good ball handler there, number five. Hamilton drives to the baseline, kicks it out to Pace. Pace shot is up no good. Big rebound by Thorpe inside. That's called getting positioning and right timing, even though they lost the ball out. Good job by number four, Grayson Thorpe. Red Bay with a 17 to 16 lead. Today's game brought to you by Theron McKinney at McKinney RV of Redmont Heating and Cooling on a broadcast. Tigers almost turned that ball over. Kicking it out in the corner to Luster. He's open for the long one. It's long, no good. Rebound Red Bay Tigers. He's got it. Corm with it. Corm cross court to Allison. Red Bay down low. He's got old Colby Jackson and Hacker in there. Hacker's up on that high post. And now the Red Bay Tigers. Turn that ball over, number five for the steal. Kicks it back to his teammate Hamilton who puts it in. He, he turned that ankle going in there and kicked it off to his teammate Hamilton. That was a good steal there, but Carson Hyde. 18 to 17, Russell on top. Cross court pass to Hacker. Tigers have not handled the ball that well here in the second quarter. They've made too many turnovers as they would Quickly tell you that, uh, Jack Ivey, you are right. Tigers just turned another one over. Hamilton got a steal. Hamilton finally gets control of the basketball. Goes to number two, Boyd. Boyd out top of the key now. Thought about it. Goes to Hamilton. Now to Thorpe. Thorpe drives in traffic. He loses the basketball. And it's stolen away. Here come the Tigers trying to get himself in position to get in that lane and put it up. And it's up and good is Colby Jackson. And Russell wants a timeout. Red Bay is taking a 19 to 18 lead with a minute 28 to go. Minute 28 to go. We're live on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Do me a favor. If you're uh, watching the game, uh, send us a little message and let us know how it's looking and sounding where you're at. I see, I see we got a few folks that are, that are watching the game out there. We really appreciate that. Nineteen to eighteen, the score. And after the timeout, Russell will bring it down. All made possible by the Banner Tire Store, Mr. Jason Parker. All types of tires for any type of vehicle. New and used tires available. Russell got away with a walk there. The shot up no good. Luster with a rebound. Appreciate Med Express of Red Bay. Red Bay Pharmacy. Tristan Insurance right here in Red Bay and over in Belmont. Miss Brenda Purser. Corum thought about it. pre Predator Pest Control. Bryson Hacker driving the baseline, kicks it back out. Long shot by Allison up and no good. 54 seconds to go. Russell down by one to your Red Bay Tigers, 19 to 18. Predator pest control, you got OAD Deaton in Red Bay, 662, 315, 2841. Shot no good. Kobe Jackson with the rebound. Kobe, long throw down the court, 14, Allison. 
The basket is up and good, and he is foul. Good job of Taylor Allison there. And he'll go to the line to shoot. Red Bates taking a 21-18 lead. That foul is against uh, number four. Thorpe is going to be charged with the foul. Today's game brought to you by Albin Mason Construction Company on a broadcast. Don't forget they got that new Traco. Does all your excavator work. Call Albin, 662-660-3355. New homes, remodels, roofing. In any type of additions you want. Free throw is no good. Here comes Russell pushing it up. And the Red Bay Tigers have got another steal. Getting this one is John Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. And the shot up by his teammate is where he dished it off is no good. That's Allison. Allison got back to knock it away, but Hamilton able to pick it up for Russell. Russell driving down the lane. The ball almost on the way there by Huffman. And we got a whistle and a foul. And I believe Red Bay is going to shoot free throws. One and one. 18 fouls against Russell, only four against Red Bay. Appreciate Explore Liquidations on our broadcast. Uh, of course, that's uh, Miss Jada Pitt, your manager there. Mike Stockton, your president. You can find mat mattresses at the lowest prices ever. Living room, bedroom, dining room furniture, cool gel pillows, tools, and merchandise from name brand retailers, all at 50 to 75% off. 22 to 18, 9.8 seconds to go. Free throw by Mr. Taylor. Allison is good. He made them both. Red Bay leads 23-18. Now Allison's got a steal. I don't know where he's going to be able to get a shot off. He got it to the Tigers. We'll shoot it at the buzzer, but it'll be late. Good try there by John Lindsay. We're at halftime. It's the Red Bay Tigers. Leading 23 to 18 over Russell. Well, we got a battle going here once again. The Red Bay Tigers lead 23 to 18 over Russell. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, appreciate you listening to us and watching on Facebook Live tonight. You hang around right where we at. We got old David Cunley out there. Miss Kate Newell says uh, we're looking good and sounding good. Thank you, Jack, for Miss Klein East Ledbetter. Old Terry Stanley out there tonight. Miss Angie Howe. Rhonda Combs uh, checking in. Johnny Stockton out there with us as well. So y'all hang around for the second half is coming up. Second half is coming up in just a second. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We'll have the cheerleaders from Russellville first, then the Red Bay Tigers. And the Russellville Tiger going across. I thought the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders were going to perform, but uh, they're just now beginning to move. So I thought they were going to be down there and get ready. But uh, so we're going to have to wait on them to get ready. Once again, the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders, they do a wonderful job. And there they are going to try to get some of the Tiger faithful across the way all fired up. Once again, it's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders now performing. They're going to spread way on out. So we may have to back our camera up way back. Once again, Red Bay right now leads 23 to 18. Here they are. And a great job by the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. I want to say hello to Dr. Ray and also Miss Michelle out there watching. They're one of our great sponsors out at Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry in Red Bay on the Golden Road open Monday through Thursday. You got Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, Candice. I think Dr. Ray came around about 1993. The other folks out there, they, I think they've been around since the early 60s. But you'll be able to tell uh, when you go out there, they're nice folks. They still can get around good, uh, if you know what I mean. So they're going to kill me. So thank you, Miss Michelle. Thank you, Dr. Ray. Uh, wonderful job out there. Of course, we're we missing Dr. Ray on that uh, PA tonight. I want to say I'm for Preet Kim Lindsay at So Cute For You. She does all your screen printing and monogramming. we got Cash and Thermal Plastic, Chuck and Miss Barber. 
Also, the city of Red Bay on the broadcast, Big Star. Also, Franklin Electric, H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton by CBNS Bank. Miss Mary Ellen Allen of the crew there. By Grace Long Real Estate, Red Bay Gas and Water. By Sunshine Mills, your hometown Piggly Wiggly. Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent on our broadcast here tonight. Red Bay Rentals, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. You can call the Weatherford folks at 256-668-0039. Also, Swamp Johns, Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Michael Stone at Stone's Handyman Services. You need somebody to do some of that uh, stuff around that nobody seems like they got time for. That's what he specializes in. He's your handyman. does remodeling, siding, roofing, painting, and much, much more. Emergency calls are available 256-668-0224. Also, B.J. Elrod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Sessities. Also, Alf Insurance of Red Bay by Silver Dollar Grocery down in Golden. And by Angie and Ted LeMay at Consider the Lilies. Don't forget if you tell them you heard this ad right here on WRMG, you get 20% off. 20% off. Once again, that's at uh, Consider the Lilies in downtown Red Bay, Alabama. Don't forget also our folks at 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse on our broadcast here tonight. This is the Red Bay Tiger Basketball Network. We're at halftime. Red Bay leads 23-18. Red Bay uh, JV girls win tonight over Russellville 41-24. Right now the ninth grade boys of Red Bay leads 23-18. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. 23 to 18 is the score. Red Bay Tigers are on top, and the ball club with the basketball to take it in is going to be the Russellville Tigers. Been a pretty good game right here. Russell gets it, puts it up, shot. It's up and no good. Red Bay with a rebound. Kobe Jackson got it after that missed shot there by McCullough. Russell in that zone defense. Kobe Jackson inside the lane, puts it up no good. He's foul, and he's going to go to the line to shoot. Miss Lynette Horton checking in with us out there. Thank you so much. Told you about the Stocktons over in South Tilla, Mississippi. Also want to thank Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education, on our broadcast. Kobe Jackson's free throw is up and no good. Drew a lot of iron, but just didn't fall. Twenty-three to eighteen, uh, Tigers. A little violation there, and didn't get either one of the free throws to fall. Now we got a foul on the other end of the court, going against the Red Bay Tigers. Number twelve is going to go to the line to shoot. Free throw is no good. He'll have another shot. This one is short, no good. Rebound goes to Luster. Red Bay's got Luster and Corum into the ball game along with Hacker. Got a long shot by Hacker. He shoots a three, it's up, it's no good. Rebound, they're gonna get number 10 coming over the top. That's Andrew Ray, he's into the ball game as well for Red Bay. And of course, uh, Kobe Jackson. That's gonna be a foul against Andrew Ray coming over the top. <laughs> 23 to 18, the score, 5-12 to go in the third quarter. And now the Tigers, Kobe Jackson's got him a steal. He turns it on, goes the lamp, it's no good. Rebound, Ray got it. Back to Luster, Luster on the right wing. Dribbles around, waits on Corm. Now about to the right side to Ray. Red Bay looking to go inside. Now they kick it back out to Ray. He'll not take the shot as he's defended there pretty good by number four, Thorpe. Now to the left side, Corm shoots the long three, it's short. 
Rebound, Hyde got it. Off to Boyd, Boyd lays it up. And it's up and good. 23 to 20 is the score. Red Bay will bring it down, Red Bay up by three. Number four got that last basket. I think I gave it to the wrong person. That was a four getting that basket. We got a block on the other end of the court. Red Bay will have it underneath their own basket. Number 11, Hacker, with the inbounds. Red Bay will substitute. They're going to bring in number 14, Taylor Allison, will check into the ball game, and Andrew Ray will check out. Got uh, Tina and Adam Hester checking in with us, along with Ethan Davis, uh, Miss Donna Thigpen, also James Gasaway checking in with us. On Facebook Live tonight, it's uh, action from Red Bay, Alabama. Told you about Dr. Ray and Miss Michelle watching us on Facebook. These folks around here can't get enough of this basketball, right, Doc? I know they, it's a, it's, uh, some of these kiddos, it's uh, 365 days a year in sports. And of course, mom and dad's got to be everywhere. Wouldn't want to be any other place, I can assure you that. 23 to 20, Red Bay leads by three, but Russell with the basketball, and they're going to get uh, Kobe Jackson with a hold over in the corner. There's old Stanley and Jackie Criddle. They were here earlier. They may be still hit over there. I thought I saw them sneaking out. They got to get their nap before they probably take another trip. Ball out of bounds. Russell will have it on the inbounds. They go to McCullough. He's wide open for the easy basket. That's Arian McCullough getting his second basket of the game. 23-22, we've only got a one-point lead. Right now, passes wide from Allison. It's out of bounds, trying to hit Acker, Hacker, and it was way behind him. So the Tigers will turn it over. Hussman getting ready to check into the game for the Tigers with 3.28 to go. Also number three checking in is John Lindsay. Red Bay leads 23-22, and right now, Russellville will have the basketball. There's Miss Julie Bolton checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Julie. Russell number 10, drives down the lane, tries to dish it off. The ball still on the way. Luster's got it. Luster will take that ball to the right wing. He'll hold up, and now he turns it over. But guess what? Uh, Corm is not Corm, but uh, Lindsay's there to steal it back. So the Tigers, Lindsay makes a bad pass intended for Corm, and number 10's got it. He's going to go for the easy layup, and he missed it. But Russell's still going to have it underneath their own basket. He did everything he could not to miss it. Slowed down, going to lay that ball up nice, easy, to left hand, and it rolled off the rim. Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of Ivy Broadcasting. We're live in Red Bay tonight. McCullough driving in the lane, shot is up, in and out, no good. Rebound, Pace got it, and it's blocked. Pace has still got it. Now the Tigers trying to steal it away, and we're going to have a jump going to the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay roster looks at Elijah Luster, Carson Corum, John Lindsay, Owen Terry, Andrew Ray, Bryson Hacker, Taylor Allison, Kobe Jackson, Brian Blair, the second, and oh, Charlie Huffman. 2.38 to go. Red Bay across the timeline, and the Tigers almost turned that ball over. Trying to hit Hacker was Corum, and they just couldn't hang on to the steal as the ball went out of bounds. There's Miss Amber Ginn checking in with us. Also, Doug Lyles, Miss Melinda Quad checking in with us, watching on Facebook Live. We got Red Bay and Russellville, ninth grade boys action. We got a foul down in the corner against the uh, ball club from Russellville. They're going to charge that one to. Pace is going to be charged with a foul. Red Bay will inbound it. Red Bay Tiger basketball tonight, live in Red Bay, Alabama. Brought to you by some really, really great sponsors, including the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Fabianca and his staff. Call them at 356-9511. Also, Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. That's where you can 
check in on how to buy a home, sell a home. She's got a lot of great listings and a lot of great experience there. Thank you, Miss Money. And there's a bank shot by Lindsay. No good. It's out of bounds and looks like Russell is going to have it. Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry can be reached at 356-8899 for that appointment. They're looking at it on the Golden Road business hours of Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. And, of course, as I mentioned earlier, Dr. Ray's been practicing since 1993. They do a wonderful job. He's got a great staff. He'd be the first to tell you that, I promise you. Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candice. Russell will try to take that ball inside. Tigers almost got him a steal. Russell got it back. Hamilton with the basketball in the corner. will dribble it back out. Hands off to his teammate there, Mr. McCullough. Now down low to Pace, and he has it blocked out of bounds by Luster. One minute and 25 seconds to go. We're in the third quarter. Red Bay 23 to 22. Kobe Jackson getting ready to check back in in just a minute. And the inbound pass is up and good. Russellville has taken a one-point lead. Here comes uh, the Red Bay Tigers. Huffman and Huffman's pass behind. And that is another turnover against the Tigers. So Russell will have a one-point lead in the basketball. There's old Colin Wade Peppers checking in with us. Thank you, Colin. We're live in Red Bay tonight on WRMG 24-23 or score. Russellville leads by one point in ninth grade action. Number 10 penetrates in, puts a shot up off the glass, no good. Huffman with a nice rebound for the Tigers. Got it out to John Lindsay. Lindsay bringing it down for the Red Bay Tigers. Decorum down in the corner with a long shot up, and no good. By Brian Blair. We're down to 48 seconds to go. Taking the ball into Pace. Pace the turnaround up and good. Canaan, looks like Canyon Pace got that basket. 26 to 23, 36 seconds to go. Lindsay, try to pass. It is knocked out of bounds. Red Bay's going to have it. Twenty-eight seconds to go. Carson Corm with the ball out near the mid-circle. He goes left side to Blair. Blair on the left wing. He's pushed way out near the Tiger bench over there. We're down to 15 seconds to go. Tigers got Kobe Jackson on the left elbow. He'll pull up a shot. It's no good. Rebound. Seven seconds to go. Goes to Russellville. They've got a three-point lead. Driving it down the middle of the lane. Tigers may have got a partial tip on that one. Ball's out of bounds, but the buzzer goes off. And the Red Bay Tigers now trail 26-23. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, it was 23-18 at halftime. Right now, it is 26-23. I don't think we scored in the third quarter, did we? It was 23-18. And right now... They're up 26 to 23, so not a good third quarter for the Tigers. I want to congratulate the Red Bay Junior Varsity girls. They win tonight 41 to 24, 41 to 24 over the Russell Junior Varsity. There's a Andy Deaton checking in with us, Andy. Hope you're doing good tonight. I get out of here tonight. Uh, I am going to uh, try to get back and watch the uh, – Alabama-Mississippi All-Star game that's going on. I think uh, WAFF is doing it and BERC out of Birmingham is doing it. Uh, I think one of the Tupelo stations is doing it. Memphis, Jackson, Mer I don't know, just all over the place, I guess. Once again, this is the Ivy Broadcasting Company getting ready to do the final and fourth quarter. Russell will the basketball. Tigers going out to play some defense to stop, and they drive it right down the middle of the lane. That's Hamilton, number 21. DeAndre gets his uh, sixth point of the ball game, and the Tigers are down by five, and Russell will kicking that ball out of bounds. The Tigers try to bounce it. Let's give you the Tigers story here. 
Corum will check out of the ball game and checking in for the Tigers will be number 14, Taylor Allison. Luster trying to go in traffic to Kobe Jackson. Jackson kicks it out. Allison shoots the long three. It's up and no good. Rebound goes to Amick of Russell. Long shot, pace, the three-pointer. It's an air ball out of bounds. Red Bay's going to get it. We're down to 522 to go. So Red Bay down by 528-23. We'll push it up the court, and we're going to have a reach-in foul by Russell. Russell, that'll be only their third team foul. Red Bay's got three. So with 5.18 to go in the game, Red Bay will bring it in. This is Allison with the ball. Taylor goes right side to Hacker. Hacker back to Allison. Red Bay's also got to number 10, Andrew Ray. Tigers almost got an over and back. Andrew tried to save it, but it was tipped anyway. Down to Hacker. Hacker, all backside to Kobe, but he shot it too hard. Over the back, uh, over the rim and no good. Red Bay down by five. Russell will back down the court in a hurry. Boyd shot long, uh, no good there by McCullough. They may have gotten in a hurry with 4.45 to go. They got them a five-point lead. Red Bay Tiger basketball live tonight. Brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Also Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Niles, and Barksdale. Luster's shot is blocked, and we got a whistle and a foul on the rebound against Red Bay. Today's game also brought to you by the Cardinal Drive-In. They're open seven days a week out on the Golden Road. Community Spirit Bank over in Russellville, right here in Red Bay, down in Belmont, and over in Vina. There's Miss Lori Harden checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Lori. Also, big shout-out to Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, now running insurance in Mississippi and Alabama. The Red Bay Hospital, also Fastway Car Wash. Miss Ann Vinson, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. And the Red Bay Tigers got a steal. And... The Tigers, uh, Andrew Ray stole it, but he uh, left his feet about uh, the free throw line for the layup, and uh, naturally you can't hang in the air that long, so he had to release that ball, and he missed it. He just got in a hurry going up for that shot. Now the Tigers are going to turn it over there in front of the Tiger bench. Tigers have not handled the ball well at all. This second half, it's 28-23. to 23. Ray will check out of the ball game. Today's game brought to you by the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, by Dickey Spark CPA, along with Triple D's Bucket Service over in Iuka, Mike Engel and Engel Farms on a broadcast today, along with Tiffin Motorhomes, Harden Heating and Cooling, your York dealer, and by Red Bay Pharmacy. Bill Donald Weatherford, no Jackson Witt. Shot by Russell, but no good. Red Bay got the... Ball, but guess what? Luster turns it over. He never could get a really good handle on it, and Russell gets a layup on the other end of the court. Shot it high up off the glass. That was uh, Ashton Boyd, but it still went in, and it's a seven-point lead by Russell. And now Russell is going to foul Mr. Allison. We have not scored, I don't think, in the second half, and there's 3.18 to go. If, if I wrote it down wrong, it was 23 to 18 Red Bay at halftime. They've outscored us in the second half 12 to nothing and lead 30 to 23. Red Bay will take it in midcourt. You got Huffman into the ball game. You got Allison. You also got number 24 Blairs out there, Hacker, and Kobe Jackson. Hacker on the right wing, back out. Now to the high post there to Kobe. Kobe lost control, but he's foul from behind. There's Mr. Ricky Daniel. Oh, Alabama man, Coca-Cola man, Ricky Daniel. How you doing, Rick? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Miss Holly Louie checking in with us. Thank you, Miss Holly. As we're broadcasting live in Red Bay tonight. This is Red Bay's ninth grade against Russellville's ninth grade. Red Bay gets it into Kobe Jackson. Jackson shot up no good. A rebound tipped and out of bounds. Last touch by the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Junior Varsity Girls wins 41 to 24 over Russellville tonight. 
Right now with 2.49 to go in the game, looks like Russell setting themselves up for a ninth grade game win. Red Bay pretty much led the whole, led the first half and first part of the third quarter. Now Red Bay will get it back after Russell penetrated in and Red Bay got a little block on it. But we need to score in a hurry and not much time to do, down by seven points. Blair looks for help, comes back over to Allison. Allison down the corner, he's got Huffman down there. Big shout out on a sponsorship tonight to Dr. Rick Wooten over in Russellville, Alabama. Dr. Rick can be reached at 331-0208. Huffman, deep down in the corner. Tigers milking a lot of clock right here. Now they go to uh, Hacker. Hacker drives the baseline and puts it up good and he's foul. Good job, Bryson Hacker. That clock will stop at one minute and 58 seconds to go. Red Bay's cut it to a five point lead. Here's Billy Pfeiffer checking in with us. Thank you, Billy. Dr. Rick Wooten takes care of all your injuries, of course, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing. We've also got Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. What about Mr. Mike Jones or Edward Jones? Did you Russell folks that might be watching this? You can stop by his office at 128 North Jackson in Russell. You can give him a call 332-7924. A lot of folks say they'll get around to it someday. Well, hopefully that's not your savings to retirement strategy. All right, here we go. Trying to complete the three-point play with Hacker, and it's up and good. Good job, Bryson. Red Bay's cut it to a four-point lead with a minute and 57. Got to make, need to make a stop on this trip. Would be nice. What about a turnover? You'd probably take a turnover, wouldn't you? McCullough drives in. A little running shot. No good. Hacker with the rebound. Red Bay Tigers got it to Blair. Blair across the timeline. Blair dribbles behind his back, makes a pass, and it is stolen away by Russellville down to Hamilton. He missed the layup, and it's out of bounds, and Russellville still going to have it with a minute 33 to go. Red Bay has not protected the basketball too well in this game. They right now find themselves down by four with a minute 30 to go. Russell, I'm telling them, guys, um, make a few extra passes and milk that clock a little bit. I'd back it out. Kobe Jackson going for steal to McCullough. Number five, he'll drive in, puts it up. It's too hard. His teammate got a rebound, put back no good. Now Hacker's got a rebound with a minute and eight to go, and Red Bay wants a timeout and will get it with 107 to go. 107 to go, we got Red Bay trailing Russellville, ninth grade boys, 30 to 26. Red Bay trails 30 to 26, but we'll have the basketball. We'll have to play it the length of the floor. Thank you for joining us on our broadcast tonight. You folks that have watched on Facebook earlier, it wouldn't is like I wanted it. Of course, the audio is kind of crazy, but uh, when you're broadcasting a ball game, you can't work on equipment, if you know what I mean. And our main objective, of course, is for our TV broadcast. And that's what our sponsors are paying for, is our radio broadcast and also our TV replay and broadcast. And we throw in an extra two for our sponsors to put them on Facebook. So that's kind of a bonus, if you know what I mean. Thank you, Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, Old Bay Diesel, Chris and Valerie Marr, Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Theron McKinney and McKinney RV, the Banner Tire Store as the Tigers push it up. Corum will put up a quick shot. It's up and no good. Kobe Jackson tipped that rebound out of there, but it was picked up by Russell. Russell down the court, number four. Layup no good. Blocked in there by the Tigers. Bryson uh, Hacker got the rebound, and there's going to be a foul by Russell. And that will be one and one. Red Bay's gonna shoot one and one. So we're gonna get a chance to put points on the board with the clock stopped at 50 seconds. Appreciate Med Express of Red Bay. That's a nurse practitioner, Miss Kayla Humphreys. You know, Med Express is a rural uh, health clinic, certified, of course, by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Call them at 356-8907. Also, big shout out today to Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff, Tri-State Insurance in Red Bay, 
Belmont and Boonville, Mississippi. That free throw, no good. We got a rebound by Luster. He put it up, no good. Boy, we had it right in the paint after we missed the free throw and couldn't get it to fall. Russell with the basketball. Tigers doing everything they can to draw a foul. And finally, after three or four fouls, but Red Bay, they finally call it 30 to 26 with 35 seconds to go. Boy, we had an opportunity on that other end of the floor, guys. Russellville will take it in. We've only committed five fouls. We got a foul in a hurry, and we do. We kind of, we kind of, in one of them situations where you, now we can put them on the line after this one. We've committed six right now. Thirty-three seconds to go, and now we commit a foul against number twelve. McCullough he'll go to the line to shoot. There's old Donovan Hand and Miss Haley checking in with us here tonight. Old Mike Engel down at Engel Farm back in with us there. We got old Matt Brazel joining us here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Miss Fran Neighbors out there, Miss Fran. Free throw is up by Russell. It's a big one. It's up and good. Russell now leads with 31 seconds to go, 31 to 26. This is McCullough. He puts Russell up 31-26. Red Bay by the one way we led at halftime, 23 to 18. That free throw is up no good or good. 32 to 26. We got to do something in a hurry. Red Bay, uh, we did almost turn it over, and we did turn it over. Now they're going to go for a layup, and it's up and good by number two. That will be the ball game. Boyd, we're down to 16 seconds now, and only. We're down by eight points. That's a bunch, isn't it? Hacker is going to be fouled. So we're down 34-26 with 8.3 seconds. We're going to get out of here pretty quick. Once again, the Red Bay JV girls wins 41-24. No varsity in boys game. This is strictly a junior high night here, Mr. Donovan. We had two games on tap for you tonight. I think the varsity plays Friday night at Winston County. I think there's a junior high game here tomorrow night against uh, some games against Tharptown. Hacker makes one out of two. Luster got a rebound. Luster and the Tigers are down 34-27, uh, and we turn it over, and we commit a foul with one-tenth of a second to go. So we're going to lose it right now, 34-27. They're going to go to the free throw line. Thank you, Colton Corn, for checking in. Thank you, Donovan, once again. Oh, Donovan's the new head baseball coach down at Vina. He's excited about uh, a little Vina baseball. Donovan, I haven't seen a schedule. See if you can work it out. Hopefully, you got it worked out to play those old Red Bay Tigers and Belmont Cardinals. Hopefully, you can call my buddy Coach Overdye. You can schedule a game with Tish County. They'll play, so we, that way we get more of these uh, Red Devil games on the television. I know Donovan is really excited about it. 34-27, and the free throw is no good. He's going to have one more, and then it's going to be over. we got one-tenth of a second to go. I'm going to go ahead and put our 27 down because I know we're not going to score anymore. We're going to lose this one. His free throw is no good. We're going to lose it 34-27. So Russell wins over our ninth-grade boys. 34 to 27, 34 to 27. We only scored four points in the second half, and those were late in the second, uh, fourth quarter. We didn't score anything in the third quarter to give you an idea. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Thank you, Miss Patricia Cole, checking in here at the end, and also Melissa Bennett Wood checking in. And uh, we appreciate all of you for doing. Donovan says they do have Red Bay schedule. Uh, Call my buddy, uh, Mr. Kevin Deaton over in Belmont. He's gonna, you're going to do JV and varsity. That's good, awesome. So we're going to get out of here once again. Red Bay JV girls win 41 to 24. Ninth grade boys, it was Russellville winning 34 to 27. That is going to wrap up our broadcast here tonight. 
Hey, big Carl Louie out there tonight. Is that Carl Louie man out there? I want to say hi to Miss Kleinese Ledbetter out there tonight. Thank you, Miss Kleinese, for checking in. But uh, honored to have you. Thank you, Randall. Once again, uh, Red Bay Tiger basketball another night is come to a close. We don't know about our broadcast schedule tomorrow night, so be looking. We might be here tomorrow night if we can work it out. So that will wrap up this broadcast for Red Bay and Russell. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great season with your family. The holidays coming up. And I know a lot of you be traveling. Do drive safely and get there all safe. But better to be a little bit late and be safe, right? Thank you so much for joining us. And one night I'm going to get Carl Louie on here with the broadcast. Let Carl do a little play-by-play. -play. You think that would be good, Randall? I'll trade, uh, trade you a little play-by-play -play for some of that Carl Louie sausage. We're going to say good night, and we'll see you next time. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company.